So I bought the uh, uh, XYZ Da Vinci uh, 1.0 3D printer and uh, it has built-in calibration mode and that thing just about made me crazy. I spent my record for, for trying to calibrate the thing has been, oh, well, it was like uh, five hours or something. So that's way too hard. So I checked on uh, YouTube and I found uh, some calibration tools that you can print. Uh, and you can use uh, a measuring clock and so on, a pressure clock. But I made a simple one that works works fairly well. So I want to share it with you. Well, here's the two. When I print it, I print it this way. And I printed it uh, 0.2 uh, microns. Hello, 2 microns, but uh, that isn't really important. That's just how good you want it to look. Uh, the thing is, you need to. Uh, I marked the hole, but you need to drill it so it fits with your own barbecue skewer. This is a ordinary wooden barbecue skewer, and I use this because I want the pointy, uh, pointy end, but I don't want to hurt uh, the print pad or my Kapton tape. Uh, and a needle, piece of tape. The screw to keep the needle in place but you need to adjust those holes yourself uh, so let's try it so this is what we do we just ah oh, it's a bit cramped in here so i take my calibration tool and i try to hold my i'm filming this with my phone so there's not much space to move around and I just place it on top of the first, on the foremost uh, calibration screw here. And I make sure that uh, my wooden skewer is traveling freely, which it isn't, but it is. Now, like so. Okay. And then I go to utilities, jog mode, set axis, set axis is up and down, uh, minus is minus is up and plus is down. So I run erase the uh, heat pad. And you can see as the heat pad uh, rises up, you can see where the needle meets the bottom of the tape and I adjust that so that I'm happy with it like so I'm fairly happy with that and then I just move my whole calibration tool over here to that calibration screw and then I check lift this a little bit and let it fall down you can see that well I want to have it a little bit up so or down perhaps yeah a little bit down and then the last screw and then I have to move the extruder and then I have it on top of the last screw and then I change the and I see that I need to get up a tiny yeah that's that's all right okay so now it's calibrated and uh, so it's fairly easy to do this way and I hope you this thing will help you it's uh, really cheap really easy and it takes a very short time to print that thing out and just calibrate your XYZ Da Vinci printer
Thanks for tuning in. Bye.